Hi everybody, it's Lynn here, uh, the Go Live Granny, and it's Saturday afternoon, it's February the 8th, 2020, and I have spent about two hours, I think, an hour, an hour and a half, it's in an amazing long. place, I'm down under the shops in the Victorian Arcade in Union Street, I'm actually sitting in the historic ride society yes. museum <laughs> that's right oh. Oops. oh dear and i've got with brian who's, who's throwing things on the floor but we won't worry about that um so anyway i'm going to introduce you to, i'm going to let brian introduce himself because he is a volunteer here and he knows so much about this lovely place so let me just flip it around whoops let flip the camera around so brian hello brian hello. Hello. do tell us you know i i have lived in right in on the isle of Wight for 20 years and i've only just really discovering this wonderful museum. So tell us about the museum. Well, far from it to... Uh, from, uh, I'll start again. Right. That's all right. We we won't. <laughs> we no, go. no, no. <laughs> this is raw and authentic. Sorry, sorry folks, it's been it's a very right. long day. It here. has. I've been talking to Lynn and lots of others. You've had lots of visitors, um, haven't you? We have had lots of visitors, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, just to... Uh, I was about to say, shame on Lynn, but I shouldn't actually criticise the lady who's doing all this broadcasting for us. But uh, we have been for here for eleven, sorry, for nine years since twenty eleven. Right, say, mm -hmm. it has been a very long day. We are the Museum of Ride. I don't know how well that will focus. The, yes, on. the Underground Museum yeah. of Ride. I the can see that. The Museum yes. of Ride in the Royal Victoria of Arcade, and our strapline is anything and everything about ride. Asterisk. Well. Nearly everything. <laughs> right, because I expect there's more things are being discovered there all the time, aren't There are lots of things. They? We haven't got room physically for everything. But we are a museum with anything and everything about ride. Right. But not only that, we also have the Donald McGill Saucy Seaside Postcard Museum. <laughs> now you might well say, we've been there and it wasn't underground at all. No, it wasn't, was it? If you have went there... Between 2010 and 2014, it was the other side of Union Street in the Orrery. Yes. Mm -hmm. A cafe come museum area, which has now closed. Mm -hmm. And the owner, James Bissell Thomas, came over to us in 2014 and said, would we have room to have it down here? Right. We said no. So as That's why it's here things, now. <laughs> we now have it. And so we now have the world famous, and it really is world famous, Don McGill, the Saucy Seaside Postcard Museum as well. Excellent. And we've got Phil Jordan's watching in. We've got Ruby and Yvonne, two Yvonne's, and quite a few people. Please, folks, can you share? Because this is a secret squirrel. I don't mean <laughs> Brian. I mean, <laughs> yes. I mean this. I'm not this, chewing my nuts. No, no. It's, um, you know, really not enough people know about your museum, do they? No, unfortunately. A lot of people in Ride don't know about us. Mm. Um, as Lynn said, she was unaware. Phil is very much aware. He has been down here. Thank mm -hmm. you, Phil, for watching. And uh, thank you for the £700,000 that Ride Town Council is going to give us over it the says next seven years. It says it's not very loud. Let me take... Hang on a minute. Um, I tell you what. So look, do you, what, do you miss me talking about No, that? no. <laughs> Can you bring your chair next to me? What we'll do, we'll sit side by side because the front... <laughs> we know a song about that, don't we? Really? <laughs> side by side. So here we oh. go. So there we are. So right. we're sitting... You know, we have to be a bit cosy. Yes. Um, but the, the micro... I've got to get a new microphone, folks. Where Ruby's saying, where are we exactly? So could you just explain it where again? Where are we? We are in the Royal Victoria Arcade, halfway down Union Street, on the western side of Union Street, if you're going from the top, and on the western side if you're coming up from the bottom. Um, sorry, where's the camera? The camera's over that oh, side. Oh, the camera's this side, I'm, I'm but yes. I'm looking all Yeah, no, there. that's, yes. yes, look at this, this way. I don't, the camera's this end. I don't look <laughs> right weird normally. It doesn't. Um, <laughs> we're in the underground part of the Royal Victoria Arcade. If you've been in ride a long time, well, more than 15 years, you might remember it as the flea market. Um, it was a flea market for quite a number of years until about 2005, became derelict and then when the, museum, when the arcade was revamped in 2010, we then took over the space down here and opened in 2011. But am I right in thinking they nearly got rid of the Victorian arcade? Yes, in the 1970s it had been set fire to several times, it was derelict and there were plans to demolish it and the local planning authority agreed but luckily some people appealed against that decision. It went to the Secretary of State in, I presume, Ted Heath's government. Right. Do I upset all the non-Brexiteers here by oh, saying... Oh, I don't know. We're not going to be political oh, on right. this one. Oh, right. I'm not we're... political. <laughs> but Ted Heath at least chose a decent Minister of State who said, no, you can't demolish the arcade. Excellent. And 
It was then bought by a couple of businessmen from Stratford on Avon, that sort of area, and they, well, one of them has owned it ever since. Ignore the notifications coming Ignore down. Ignore the notifications. <laughs> right, OK, I can't read them yeah, anyway. No, that's all right. Um, so, yes, it was then restored in the 1970s, about 75, reopened, and it has gone from... I won't say strength to strength. It's never been a very popular arcade. It's never made money in its life um, until we moved in in 2011 and then we carried on the same trend, right. not making money. <laughs> but, um, but, but today you've more than broken even, haven't you? We have indeed. Um, <laughs> I keep whinging on to volunteers and visitors that we need money. Um, we get some help from the town council, thank you very much. We need a lot more help to keep going. We are all volunteers and every day we're open we have to pay £26 a day in rent. And I did a bit of maths today because quite a few people came down. Yes. So you have covered your rent. We have covered our costs. We had something like, um, we had a couple of late people, something like 23 visitors today, which we get £3 per visitor to keep for ourselves. We have had £69. Is that right, 23? Yes, yeah, £69. <laughs> That's enough rent for today and Monday and most of Tuesday. Ooh. So uh, in the summer we do do a lot better, of course. Mm -hmm. But now when more people, Excuse if me. all these lovely people share the broadcast yes, indeed. and the future broadcasts that we're going to do, um, because we're not going to do it all, we're not going all around the museum today. We're just oh, I can talk for another 15 hours. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going home <laughs> sometime tonight. <laughs> um, so um, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll do a bit about the museum now and then yeah. I'll come back. But if people share, folks, please share the broadcast. This is how the world will know about this famous or not yet famous but soon to be famous museum <laughs> yes semi-famous yes. yes yes so so talk us around some of the things that you've got in here i mean obviously you know the mu you said about the postcards the yes. saucy postcards yes the donald mcgill saucy postcards they it's difficult to say if you're old enough to remember the seaside postcards of the 1950s and 60s when they were um, pictures of large ladies and skinny men you or large one, men you? and skinny people. You can, um, could you show one I or could, not? Are you allowed to show one? Do I show one? the band cards? Do I show the really It's up to ones? you whether you show a band the card one... or whether you just show... Some of them have been banned, folks. Yes. Um, but they are still copies available. <laughs> At the risk... We, we don't want to get thrown off Facebook or anywhere else, do we? <laughs> Some Here fairly tame ones first. These are... Typical things, these are coasters that we sell for the grand price of £1 each or only £3 for four. That's the advert, four. is that a commercial break? Advert, really? Ad I was yeah. just giving you information. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> right, where's the camera? Um, uh, right, it so there's that one, a large lady, and I can't remember what it does it says. It it's backwards. It, yes, it, it's um, British and proud of it. Gosh, and that's the Brexit one, isn't it? Um, <laughs> this, this was produced before Brexit even came into being. Um, there's another one with um, no use asking me what time the pub's open here because the chap's got a. It's got his own beer barrel, yeah. Um, these are very old fashioned, of course. They are from the 30s and 40s mainly. That's something I can't see what she's saying. Something about. It's a hard it job to here. touch your toes, but you see, I'm sticking it out. <laughs> right. And the last one on that scene, I know this one. Oh, darling, do bury me in the sand, <laughs> he says to the. Little weedy husband. <laughs> to all weedy husbands out there, of course, you don't have to anymore. But, um, so that's some of the ordinary humour. Um, just a couple of the ones that the, were banned. The risque ones. Um, this was considered obscene in the 1950s. Um, to paraphrase it, there's a vicar. Whoops, sorry, reflection on there. Yes, um, yes. A vicar talking to a young mum, and he's saying, and what is baby's Christian name? Christian name. I've spent six months looking for a surname for him. <laughs> that was considered enough to be banned because it was people were risque too, back too, then. Too delicate there, and um, and uh, one other. Oh no, we won't ask. Try no, not to be um, too risque. <laughs> no, 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 no. Indeed. Um, I've got a reputation. <laughs> yes, in, so we've heard. Yes. yes. Oh no, um, no, not that. Time. I'll let you. I'll let you read that one then. It's uh, right. Okay. I haven't um, read it first. I should have read. It. How how do you like her for a wife, old boy? Not at my age, laddie. Couldn't stand it. <laughs> and that was also rude enough to be banned. So it makes you wonder about the thought processes of the 
ladies and gentlemen on the censorship committees. Yes, so um, um, didn't some of them get burnt? Didn't they have to burn them, or what yes, happened? Yes, yeah. um, in Ryde alone in 1953 or 54, I must check this, um, 5,000 cards were burnt. Right. Um, or destroyed, so yeah. one assumes burnt. So, so um, are these copies of the ones that were... They, or, <laughs> how, how do this, we have these, then? <laughs> this set of 24 cards, all 24... For only ten pounds, complete with an information leaflet as well. Wow, that's amazing, um, isn't bargain it? Bargain price. They are reprints, but they are available. I say for only ten pounds. Um, some of those were banned and destroyed immediately, and others, um, future publication was banned. So the news agent was able to sell what he had, I think, but then couldn't order any more. So it's a bit strange. They were saying, well, these are really rude, but you can offend some people, but only up to a certain limit. <laughs> not That's too sure strange. the way it worked. No. I was around in the time, but not buying postcards. No, no. Okie dokie. So, um, obviously, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to come back and do more broadcasts, but can you just talk me around? We're not going to move, but talk no. me around. the diff There's lots of different rooms here, right. aren't there? I've been down, down here so long, I can't even remember what we have got. He's no, got, he's haven't got, got my glasses on. Do you want me to read it? Put, no, <laughs> oh, he's got glasses. I'll put my glasses Hi, on. everybody coming in. Yvonne shared. Thank you so much. Melinda's there. Jackie's there. Loads of people there coming in. So, uh, see, oh, that's how you do it. Yes. Right. You can see now. Look, look there's there's so, comments on the screen. You see, Yvonne's over in Ventnor. She she's shared. In, right. Yes. Okay. We we had some people from Ventnor today, didn't we? Yeah. All oh, the way yes, over indeed. From yes, all the way. I'm, I'm surprised they're going to get back. Before dark, hopefully. Um, <laughs> very good. Yes. This, very basically, is just a quick plan of where we are in the, in the arcade. If you know the arcade, um, this is the rotunda area upstairs where the pictures on the ceiling in the dome, they were painted for Historic Bride Society by members of the local artistic community. So we, we're underneath that. We're underneath, this is the large area... Um, which was the art exhibition gallery in the 1880s when the arcade was in use. And these are all other... That's under... Um, sorry, that's under Frankie's computer shop. This is under Past and Present and Attica. I think that's... Um, that's Sally's the wool shop, isn't it? Didn't no, it? that's oh, no. Sally's place. Um, oh, right, sorry. The, I'm getting um, myself confused. The, art, the um, historic artefacts. Right, yes. And these other bits are under the other shops. So we cover a huge area. It's massive and where course, we are, isn't it? It is, she cried. Um... Stop it, that's the McGill. That's a, that's a McGill We've moved influence. off McGill. Sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> and this little circle here is our... I wonder what the French for pH to resistance is. They must have a word for it. Um, that is our ice well, which I like to say is unique, or ungrammatically almost unique. Um, it's an 1836-built ice well, integral to the building, Unique as far as we're aware in this country. There was one other in Plymouth that was bombed during 1941, during the Blitz down there. Um, but it's an ice well for containing ice, strange enough, that was imported from either Norway or North America and then used for um, keeping things cool or um, not delicatessen, but fancy um, decorations and things like that, and for ice creams and... Knickerbocker glories and all sorts of other glories and Whoa, things there's like no, that. There's no Knickerbocker glories in there now. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Um, there's no ice there now, There's no there? ice in there. There's no. a bit of water because the drains were damaged by no. the forerunner of Ride Town mm. Council um, way back in the 1880s. Right. But we have a, a large area, as you can see from the map, and we have a whole host of things. How far do you want me to go? Well, with? read. You know that list of, of, that list of on things. there that it says. So you you got. Yes. I, there were some guys in here watching the hovercraft. Oh, that's right. You know old um, old videos of um, what do we call it? We don't call it videos. What was it? Film. Yes, old film. film. Old film. <laughs> film. <laughs> that's um, right. Yes. Yes. Cine cine stuff. Cine film. Like that's that. right. That's what um, I meant. Hi, yes, Bob. we have what we call the flight path, which on one side of the wall has lots of photos of hovercraft. Um, going back from the early days, the various models that some people in Ryde would have worked on or some people on the island would have helped develop. And the other wall is taken up with photos of Ryde Airport, which was in existence from the 1930s up to just after the war. And unfortunately, Ryde Airport went the way of lots of other airports when the, I think it was the Labour government in charge then, they wanted that to be slightly more controlled. So Ryde Airport is where McDonald's and... Um, Tesco's, of course. Oh, and Staddleston's. Staddleston's. Oh, right, that's yes. Right. Oh, okay. And the, that's something new I've learnt today. Oh, right. <laughs> the, the control tower is roughly where McDonald's 
is now. And older residents will remember La Babalu and the Carousel nightclubs that were up there. Right. Dens of iniquity, I... Um, oh, dear. I, I wouldn't know. Sure, they weren't. No, no, no. no. But in the 60s, when you were a kid, yes. sorry, when you were a youngster, you went to those sort of places. Right, yes. Um, so, mm-hmm. so that's that. We've got, a, we've got the 25-minute film on the hovercraft done by Barry... Somebody who's got an interesting surname that I can't remember. Um, he worked for Hovercraft, and I believe he's now back piloting again because he understands the way these beasts work. Um, he narrated this film, which is all about the development of the Hovercraft. Very interesting. One day I'll get down to sit. I'll get to sit down and watch the whole lot. I still right. haven't seen it, even though it's been here for. Well, you're so busy with people coming years. in and out and doing all sorts of things, aren't you? So, yes, indeed. So yeah. Um, one other thing. Um, Martin White, or Sir Martin White, as he now is, when he were the Lord Lieutenant, he came down one day and said, you've got the Puckpool Swing, and we have the Puckpool Swing. Um, those of you who remember Puckpool in its heyday as a park, where's the camera? It's over there, isn't it? Sorry. Yes, this side. I'm looking at the wrong side. place again. <laughs> um, he, um, sorry, the Puckpool Swing was there. It's a swing boat, a very small swing boat now. Um, when you're a kid, I'm sure it was quite massive, mm. um, but... Martin remembers pushing his kids on it, as do many other people. And we have a list of Puckpool swingers, those who, in the innocent days of the 50s and 60s, and right up to, I think, the, about the 1990s, went on this very swing. Wow. Mm-hmm. And we've had several people who've come in and said, oh, my dad made that. He worked for the council and he made that. Um, I don't know how many people made the swing, but I think some people worked on it and repaired another. One or two might have actually instigated it in the first place. All right, but, okay, and that is right next to our schoolroom, which has dozens of photos of school children um, when they were taken in the long panoramic ones, where apparently you could get a person, a student at one end of the of the picture. Oh, they can run round, rush round yeah, to the and, back and be in um, both ends. I remember having school pictures done like that, but not yes, here on the you island. You have to be fairly old to remember I was, those sort of things. Yes, well, I am As fairly Lynn old, old aren't she, I? She's, she's just said. Um, <laughs> yeah. That, um, but that's also of great interest to people. If you went in, into school in Ride, um, come down and have a look, and you might find Mrs. Higgins, your maths teacher, or whatever. Um, in the photograph. In not the photograph. The... <laughs> you never know. No. <laughs> that brings me on neatly to one lady who shall be nameless. Let's call her Fred. Um, oh, Fred. She Rico. came down, <laughs> and she was looking through, and she said, oh, there's little... Johnny Smith, for example, that wasn't his name, yeah, but no. um, there's little Johnny Smith. I haven't seen him for 50 years. I used to sit next to him. And Dinah Wood, who was our founder, um, and the late Dinah Wood, she said, oh, little Johnny Smith's around the corner. He's a bit older now and a bit bigger, but he's one of our volunteers. And this couple met up after 50-odd years. Wow, that's amazing, and isn't it, just from that sort ju- of thing? Just from having a look at a photo yeah, like that. Yeah. I just realised I'm sitting all skewed with Oh, well, don't just, sit Oh, sorry, you're, you're leaning on that. Oh, one. sorry. No, no, well, I'm not. That's OK. This, this is life, <laughs> folks, and obviously unpractised. Am I a bit... That's now, a bit better. Now, um, Cindy's right. saying, thank goodness there are people like you that keeps history alive. No. You see, and people do appreciate the work well, you're doing. You might, nice. you might think that, oh, you know, sometimes you have a bad there? day and whatever, mm. but actually it is so vital. And, it, and, yeah. and you folk watching, it's up to you to share it. You know, it's, it's good that he does this work, you know, and all the volunteers do this work, but we need it shared, don't we? Yes. Oh, shared yes, and yes. shared and shared so yeah. that lots more people will come. Yeah. Um, but but so, so there's, how many rooms are there here? Ooh, well, on the, on the little plan, it sort of, it goes down to... 16 rooms. There. Well, Yvonne's just said her cousin in Derbyshire said he is definitely visiting when he comes down. Thank you, Yvonne. There, That's Yvonne. my wife's middle name. All right. Yvonne. Well, is it Yvonne or Yvonne? Yvonne? No, this is... Oh, so, I don't some know. Some are very precious about that. I don't know. She um, hasn't actually ever corrected me about yeah, it. So, um, um, and I met Yvonne. Um, I tell you, I must have said... Um, right. I was in the hospital canteen, St Mary's. Uh, having a cup of tea. Other having... hospitals are available. All right, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yes. So... Are they on the island? No, they're no, not. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we used to have hospitals, of course. We did. But... Yeah, that's history too. Yeah. Um, and um, I, I'd, um, I was just having a cup of tea, and Yvonne sat on the next table, saw me get my knitting out, and we've been friends ever since. So um, you know, and she's Yvonne is a great sharer. Sharing right. is caring, so she shares loads of broadcasts. She's Does she responsible. Knit as well. She knits. So and she you're a couple of knits together. We are yeah. a couple of knits. This is a close knit. You probably heard close knit society. Yes. <laughs> but back to the historic anyway, ride society. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that, just... Yvonne. Um, Derbyshire. We haven't got anything from Derbyshire here yet until your cousin comes down, of course. 
Beatles. Then we there we go. Have... He was signing the visitors' book too. I hope Hopefully, so. Yes. yes, it is fascinating. On one day, we had three or four um, sequential people signing in the visitors' book. One was from Brazil. Amazingly, I think I was one of from Brazil. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, he was in the army. He was a colonel. Oh, right. um, very funny. Sorry. <laughs> I almost did a Basil Bush boom boom. Then. Um, <laughs> right, enough of this silly thing. Um, yes, we had somebody from Brazil, somebody from New Zealand or Australia, somewhere like that, um, someone from just over the water like Portsmouth, yes. and then somebody else from another part of Europe. Right, It okay. really can be a worldwide destination. Well, um, and, and, and of course, our, our broadcasts go worldwide. Yes. So yeah. hopefully we can encourage some more of those. We have got a lady from Australia who's Ooh. coming to visit us. Sheila? Um, no, don't think so. No, Hazel. She's a, uh, another <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Sorry, I was going to say that, but I mustn't offend. Um, and she's seen our broadcasts. And she was coming to the UK anyway, yeah. but she's making a special trip to the Isle of Wight. So maybe she might, we might have mm. a, you know, we could have our meet up down here, couldn't we? We'll <laughs> put some of our cards upside down, especially for her. <laughs> Bless. But, no, we, we actually, this is brief hark back to the cards, the McGill cards. Um, they do appeal to, it's, it's the typical British sense of humour, the, the yes, musical sort of humour. Yes. And of course, the British expats who are out there in all around the White Commonwealth. I hate to say it, that sounds awful, doesn't it? But yeah. they remember these cards from when they were young and obviously the same sort of British humour went around the world to those areas of the Commonwealth and lots of people from the Commonwealth come in from Australia and New Zealand especially, mm. um, coming in to, uh, to look round. When we were, I won't do the accent, but you know, when we were on the Isle of Wight we had to come to the McGizzel Museum. Yes. So uh, thank you very much, it brings in money. There we go. So, there we go. That's good. Um, so yes. So, so just carry on talking. School. We've done the school. Yeah, we've done the school um, room. Yes. Yeah, so or we will. We'll do that. Swing. We'll do that another day. I'll come back because we you can't can, be all night here. No, no. no you can, I you do, can do need a bit of video. You can do the live yes. stuff showing the the thing. Yeah. Ride school especially is well represented because they used to take lots of these panoramic photos, and we have several from various ranges of the years round through there. And we've got some from middle school. Um, ride secondary modern when that came about and various others mm -hmm. so well worth looking at anyway if you like that sort of thing right very briefly um a lot of you from ride will remember the various areas that used to be around i hadn't realized i am an overner i will admit i've only been here 21 years next week 12th of february is our 12th 21st anniversary um, only a year longer than me Yes, mm -hmm. it feels like ages, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. But um, yes, many of you remember the various dairies around here. Stainer's Dairies, that was a very long-lived one from the 1790s, I think it started, right up to 19-somethings, 80s or so. Um, the buildings there have just been demolished, unfortunately, but we have a whole host of bottles and things from the dairies, the breweries that were around, Sweetman's and others, flagons from there, lots of commercial bottles, the poison bottles from the various chemists that were around. We still have Gibbs and Canel, of course. I hope they haven't got poison in them now. Probably not, no, <laughs> no. We have got a very old, I think it's a Sweetman's whiskey bottle. They they didn't distill the whiskey themselves, they bottled it. But we have one of only a few in existence with a, I think it's Sweetman's label on it, and that's still full of whiskey. Right. So I've no idea what state it's in. I don't drink it these days, but um, I wouldn't want to try with this. No, no. But, um, it might be a bit like poison. Well, it could be. <laughs> but that's the commercial room. We've got loads of stuff like that around there. Um, we then got a bit of a tribute to Ant Anthony Minghella. Not as much as we would like, um, but we are in the process of moving things around into our new domestic room, which has just been opened. Um, that will contain lots of domestic things, which will then free up space for us to get other displays better you know, sort of more, more proper displays. <laughs> Absolutely, and I know exactly move, what you mean. We want to move the fire brigade and police bits in there so they get the status they deserve as obviously two of the emergency services. Right. Talking about emergency, we have got loads on the hospital, the Royal County Infirmary, pictures of Her Maj Queen Victoria pressing a button, an electric button, to open the new doors for the children's wing in 1900 or 1901, just before she popped off. Mm-hmm. And uh, Cindy's Cindy coming. Fraser she's a, yes, she's an overnight. overner, 35 years, wouldn't want to, to live, live anywhere, anywhere else. else. Amazing, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know the feeling, Cindy, yes, I say this to everybody the else. Same here. Yeah. I didn't actually want to come here, and then I we ended didn't up... We to come here. I, I ended up coming to help a family business, yeah. actually, this is a bit of history, and um, I they my parents ran a school here, 
Right. In, um, and one of the t- small private schools, mm. and I not, used to not commute. Not Parklands, P N E U. No, it was the, no, uh, right. on on the Carisbrook Road, West, right. Westmont. Right, right. And um, they they um, run that for a while, and um, I they twisted my arm to come and teach in it, um, and I used to go home every weekend, uh, because I didn't want to live on the island. Mm. And um, one night I did, uh, so I, I I commuted on a weekly basis, and one night I did a micro sleep on the M three. And decided that actually, now nah, actually, if I was going to be famous, it was more for something like this, you know, being the go live granny rather than being killed on the M3. Yeah. So I stopped going home every weekend and then fell in love with the island like you do. Yes. <laughs> yes well, I, so. I've been coming over donkey's years. I'm, I'm actually old enough to remember going to Bembridge on the train. Right. I was very little. We chugged into braiding. And I was facing the engine because I used to like doing that in those yes. days. And all of a sudden we're going chug, chug, chug backwards. And I said to Dad in horror at my age of three or four or whatever, well, we're going back home now. Is that a holiday <laughs> over? Blessed. No, we're going backwards into Bembridge. Oh, right. Um, so well, I are. remember the ferries when you used to go on and then the, the guys turned you on a turntable, your car on a turntable, right. mm. something like that. I don't know if you remember anything like that. No, 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 no. no, no. We, no. We, we weren't posh enough to have cars. Though. We did come here in 1961, holiday in Ventnor, and it was the week the Berlin Wall was built. Oh, oh this and there's Sandy. Sandy. Another of the volunteers, that's Mrs. Yes. Mrs. Bryant. Mrs. Me, <laughs> yes, yes, our long-standing... Um, Wife of me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Say hello to the world. <laughs> or not. Um, She's yes, we, we went to Ventnor and we stayed there and I went down to get either the Daily Mail or the News Chronicle. I'm not sure if the Chronicle had died by then. But I came back to the boarding house and the headline said Berlin divided. So I can date the week we were in Ventnor. We'd gone there by trains. Oh, wow. Um, and that was in sometime in 1961 when the Berlin Wall was built. Oh, my goodness. So... Which made an impression upon me, actually. So I made my kids watch the television broadcast of the wall coming down in right. 89. Oh, right. Excellent. So, uh, yes. There we are. Yeah. All right. So, serious bit over. Yeah. So have we... Um, um, have right. we worked so we've done on... the commercial room. We've done that. Um, we've got a bit of music room at the moment. Um, we want to expand that once the domestic room is fully equipped, as I say, we'll then take things around from other spaces and make one of the rotunda areas, this is little sort of, um, they're vaults really, it's a vaulted room or four vaulted rooms under the main rotunda area upstairs. One of those will become a proper music room. Many people are interested in the festivals, especially the, the big one, although mm. that wasn't in Ride. Um, no, it's still, it's still Island-based, Isle of, of White, course. yes, that's And um, we're not trying to outdo... Um, um, what's the name, um, over at Freshwater, yeah. whatever museum that is, Dimbola Dodge. Dimbola, yes, yes, yes. We're not yes, trying yes. to outdo them with our memories, but no. one of our volunteers and trustees, he's got a huge collection of music memorabilia, and that's growing all the time because other people donating things to us, and people are very interested in that. So we'll be making a special music and entertainments area there. Brilliant. The other rooms, we have a huge amount of Isle of Wight rifles, Militaria history here. Princess Beatrice's own regiment. I'm not into military stuff at all. I avoided the constri- uh, the um, national service by being too young at the time. My brother went off and scared me with the horrors of what he had to do in Germany, sailing up and down the Baltic in a boat and things. Okay. Um, but I avoided that. But So I don't know about the military side of things very much at all, but we have people down here who are interested. Okay. And briefly on Militaria... Um, we have the remains of one of the P-51 Mustangs that crashed in the Solent in 1945, February 45. Two American guys were coming back from a mission over East Germany. They'd been protecting a bombing raid over there. And coming back into the Solent, they were way off course. They should have been going back to um, their base in Cambridgeshire. And they crashed in the Solent due to very bad weather. And one of our trustees, he's gathered a lot of remaining bits of one of the Mustangs. And as it's now 75 years since their death, there are plans not organised by us, but by somebody from the White Air, White Aviation Museum in Sandown and other people to commemorate those flyers' deaths. And we'll be taking part in that. There could well be some big commemoration down on the seafront. Oh, right. We're looking, well, you must we're make sure to. I know about it. Oh, you'll know about it, yes. <laughs> Thank um, you. One of the guys helping that, Graham Drucker, he helped with the commemoration of a pilot, I think it was a Spitfire pilot, might have been Hurricane, over at Arrowton last year. I was unaware of that happening at the time, otherwise it would have gone along right, to okay. take part. Mm-hmm. But um, 
Yes, a bit of a sober note, but we've been in contact, the guys from the museum have been in contact with members of the squadron who were still alive at the time when one of our guys was finding some of these bits. Mm -hmm. So that's quite, um, quite poignant, actually. Yes, that, yes. Um, they were off course and they happened to die here and we should be having a memorial for them. Excellent, yeah. So, so uh, there we are. So... I mean, that's more or less it for the moment. There's an awful lot down there. There is an awful lot. <laughs> a lot of awful stuff, yes. <laughs> no, no, um, no, an awful lot of stuff. I've mentioned the ice well, haven't I? Yes, I'm you did, yes. The ice well. That's it. We've got the new rooms open, the Tony Packer room, named after one of our founders, Tony Packer, um, and a uh, founder member of Historic Ride Society, and also a founder member and co well, co founder, along with Diana Wood, of the of the place here. It was Historic Ride Society's Ride District Heritage Centre. It's a lot of a mouthful for people like me to say when I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, we renamed it the Museum of Ride a year ago. We've had new flyers produced, which, to remind you, is this one, mm -hmm. which are available at all good hotels and things and tourist places, including the Don McGill Postcard Museum. This is a um, museum of rude. Yes. <laughs> the Museum of Ride, right. incorporating the Museum, the museum of, of Rude. Rude. <laughs> um, they're not really rude, as they can show no. your 84-year-old no. granny, and she probably won't have a heart attack. No. <laughs> um, or this 70-year-old granny. I'm 69. Sorry, even this 69-year-old year old giggling <laughs> granny as was. Um, uh, we have revamped that. Um, changed the name, which is now striking more resonance with people who know what a museum is. Amazing number of people didn't really understand the concept of a heritage centre. Right. So, Isn't and, that funny? Yes, so, yeah. Yes, Americans especially. We really? had an American couple down. Well, what's the Heritage Centre? I said, well, it's like a museum. Why don't you call it a museum? And is he that said, why you changed American, the name? No. <laughs> no, the, the name change came about two years later. All right, OK, but, good idea. And just to promote Cyril, Cyril is our rider saw. Rider saw. I think Cyril was a squirrel, but no, it's a rider saw. No, <laughs> Sorry. He, Cyril, his name was chosen by Diana. Um, he is the... Is our crest, historic ride started crest, drawn by Lynn, um, Lynn Phillips, I think not as this was. Lynn, no. <laughs> no, not the, a different Lynn. I'm not very good at drawing. Um, mm. He is a ride saw. He is on the supports of the shelters on the pier. There are 38 on the pier, and, and there are two here. Look. There were 40 originally. Alive. We now have two here. Sorry, I'm right. pointing, you can't see. No. Um, <laughs> You have to come. You have to he, come here to see. Exactly. <laughs> come down and have a look and feel the weight of them. Yeah. But he is a rider saw. He is. Um, and this is fascinating, to me at least. We've had arguments about mythical beasts. Right. How you can argue about something that doesn't exist, such as unicorns. They do exist. Maybe they do exist. <laughs> um, but he is a ride saw. He's not a wyvern. He's very closely related to a wyvern, but wyverns have barbed tails. He hasn't right. got a barbed tail. There are two of him on the ride mayoral crest. Um, I know that because I helped have them put there. And you were a mayor. And, uh, oh, I were the mayor at the time, <laughs> and you? I am responsible. Yes, a bit of self publicity. I'm responsible for um, Ride having its own mayoral chain again. Good. Mayoral regalia. So it because should. Because the big council didn't want to give us their gold one back. Oh, we right. weren't important enough to have a gold chain. Good heavens, no, we're only a parish council. Oh, for goodness sake. So we now have Cyril there. <laughs> All right. But um, he is a resplendent beast. He so looks very I like Cyril. He's very resplendent. It's not fire coming out. He's definitely not a dragon. That is his large tongue. He has a large pink tongue. Right. So uh, two okay. wings, two legs, and just a pointed tail, not there a barbed tail. <laughs> so there we are. So is that enough? I think that's plenty for one yeah. one session. And I, I will come so. back. We will go room by room. We will show these lovely people, and we want you all to share so everybody can. Keep coming and telling everybody. I would love to share if I knew how. I, I couldn't even watch this myself. I'm not on Facebook, so. Uh, oh well, it will go. Know. It will go onto YouTube later on. I'll put All it right. up on YouTube tonight. Okay, and are. then it can be shared from YouTube as well. So, oh. so thank you, Brian. Thank you very Lynn. much. Thank so, you, people, for watching. So it's goodbye from me. And it's and goodbye, it's goodbye from, her. from her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boom, boom. Bye, Sorry. everybody. Thank you so right. much. Bye. <laughs>